It's Foodie Friday! Yo, say kittens, I'm Matt, and welcome to my 42nd mukbang eating show. I haven't done a dessert video in a while, so I picked up some sweet and treats. So this is going to be a dessert haul of sorts. To begin, I have my current favorite Ghirardelli Square, dark chocolate and sea salt caramel. Ooh, my all-time favorite munchy chocolate in the world, Ghirardelli Milk Chocolate Sea Salt Cashews. A trash can cookie from Sheets. And I also have strawberry cheesecake from Sheets, but that is in the freezer. It got a little warm on the ride home, so I will get that out later. Thank you so much for getting me to 400 subscribers. I will be doing two challenge videos in the upcoming week. The 300 subscriber saltine challenge and 400 subscriber chubby bunny challenge. I am going to attempt it. Even though I have the epically smallest mouth in the world ever, I am still going to try it. I'm not looking forward to that. I don't care for marshmallow much anyway. Hmm. What was I thinking? <laughs> oh well, do it with views. So thank you everyone that subscribed to my channel for monthly cooking shows, weekly eating shows, foodie vlogs, and random fun. Beginning with the Ghirardelli squares. They come individually wrapped. I prefer the squares over the bars due to the simple fact that they're individually wrapped. You can eat one at a time, you can watch what you're eating, you can be like me and eat the whole bag, but they won't melt in the process, you know? I used to be a huge fan of the regular Ghirardelli caramel squares, but ever since trying this one, hmm, hmm. Oh my goodness. It's just got like a depth of richness. It's the same caramel, but... Is there any way I could eat anything and not look like an uncivilized feral cat? I don't think so. The caramel is really sweet, but then by being dark chocolate, it's a little bit bitter, and I like that. I appreciate a fine, bitter dark chocolate. And the sea salt just makes it... Mmm. Mmm. I may or may not have said this before, but... Ghirardelli is by far my favorite chocolate in the world. I've had European chocolate, I've had Belgian chocolate, I've had chocolate from London, but this stuff. Mr. Ghirardelli knew what's up. I really want to go to the Ghirardelli store one day. When I was in New York, I looked online, but no, they don't have one there yet. There's one in Las Vegas, San Francisco, which is where Ghirardelli originated, and Los Angeles. Maybe a couple other places, but they're all on the West Coast. Japan needs to get here Delhi. I really missed it while I was there. But Meiji is just as good. So if you don't have access to here Delhi, eat Meiji chocolate. It's pretty much the same taste.
I don't like Hershey's chocolate at all. It's oddly waxy and fake to me. The only Hershey's thing I like is cookies and cream. Oh my kittens, yes. That giant Hoshi's cookies and cream ball, I can wipe a whole one of those out in one sitting. It is so good. Every year for my birthday, I have my mom get me one. <laughs> along with cake. I always get a carrot cake, so it's not the same flavor, so I don't get tired of either one. Mm. One square is 70 calories. So you can eat one of these or a slice of bread. Honestly, which one do I prefer? Just depends on the day. Some days I want my chocolate fix, which is very rare. But most days, I want some bread. Bread and butter, a sandwich, toast peanut butter and jelly, whatever. But. Some days I gotta have this. Mm. I always like to eat the edges <laughs> and save the gooey part for last. And make a huge mess in the process. <laughs> I still have three other things to try, so I'm going to stop there for now. For the Ghirardelli Dark Chocolate Sea Salt Caramel Squares, I give them a 9 out of 10. Pros are, the chocolate is not too bitter or rich. Caramel is very creamy. It's the same kind of caramel that they use in the regular Ghirardelli Caramel Squares. It's really, really good. Like Cadbury Caramel Oil Caramel. So milky and creamy and perfect amount of sweetness. It's, it's, it's delicious. It's and just the right bite for the sea salt to cut through the sweetness of the caramel and the bitterness of the chocolate. Well done, Ghirardelli. The only con is, I wish they were thicker, as I said about the regular caramel squares. So, 9 out of 10 for the Ghirardelli dark chocolate sea salt caramel squares. Now for my favorite thing in the whole world, ever, ever. These cashews, though. I love me some cashews. I love cashew milk, cashew butter, cashew fried rice. If it's got cashews in it, chances are I'm gonna like it. What southern accent? <laughs> Where did that come from? They just look like ginormous whole cashews. And I tell you, they are whole cashews. Whole roasted cashews. They're not little pieces. And they're not tiny, either. I mean, I, I don't know what to compare it to. I'll put it next to my eye. There you go. It's about the size of my eye. So, there you go. Mm. Every time I eat those, I feel like I did the first time I watched the TM Evolution Hot Limit music video. 
just women bouncy all over. Some of them look bigger. They look like that inside. They're substantial, it's not all chocolate. A serving is one fourth cup, which isn't that much. And that's 210 calories. But there's three and a half servings per bag, and if you do the math, the entire bag is only like 700 calories, so. It's a lot healthier than chips and less calories. So. If you can eat a serving or two like a normal person, I highly recommend. And even if you have to just sit down and eat an entire bag or something, I still recommend because they're healthier. The ingredients are pretty natural. And it tells you the roasting process of Ghirardelli chocolate. Hang on. Okay, it's Which I find to be pretty cool. Mm. I'm filming on my phone again. I think it has better quality than my laptop. I have a digital camera, but it's weird. I feel like I look really tan when I film on my digital camera. See, it was a cashew. And they don't melt in your hand due to the confectioner's glaze on the outside. Which I really appreciate. Also prevents them from getting all melted in the bag. Out of all of my filming devices, I think I like the bag for now because the laptop's a little fuzzy. I know it's not the best quality, but I don't go for professional quality in these videos. I go for feeling like you are having dinner or breakfast or dessert with a friend, not watching someone on television, which is why quality isn't a huge, huge thing for me. I want good quality video, but only at a more personal level. A good quality video as if you were with family and friends. I want all you kittens to feel like you're a part of my life <laughs> because you guys are a part of mine. It's a huge cashew. I'm gonna see if I can. Mmm. Epic fail, but you can see how big it would have been. Today it was funny, I was eating dinner and the waiter switched our plates and my mom ordered steak and I ordered chicken and they gave us the wrong meat. I got sunny side up eggs and she put my mom's country fried steak on my sunny side up egg plate 
and my country fried chicken on her over medium egg plate, I caught it because I ripped it open and I noticed it. We switched it. But it was like, see, that's why I always check meats and I never trust anyone because not eating beef for four to ten years is one thing I didn't fail. Because I'm just an epic failure at everything. It's okay. I can cook. I'm good at math. Because you're Asian. I always have to throw that stereotype in there. Life isn't about what you can do, though, and what you have to prove to people. It's all about just being the best that you can be. Just do your best and be yourself. Be a kind, honest, genuine person and work with integrity. That's all that matters. You don't have to be the biggest, baddest, bestest, richest, smartest, prettiest, whatever, to be great. You're great just the way you are. And don't let anyone ever tell you otherwise. For the Ghirardelli milk chocolate sea salt cashews, needless to say, I give them a 10 out of 10. Chloe saw that there is a whole sea salted roasted cashew inside. The outer shell is real milk chocolate, very creamy and very chocolatey. Perfect combination of salty and sweet. 10 out of 10 for the Ghirardelli milk chocolate sea salt cashews. Cons are they're addicting. I'm gonna set the cookie aside for a minute. Have me a piece of cheesecake. I normally purchase the strawberry cheesecake from Walmart, but last summer I tried this strawberry cheesecake slices from Sheets, and it's really, really good. I like my cheesecake a little bit frozen, I guess. I don't know, not frozen, but. A little colder than a refrigerator cold, you know what I mean? Just like that. I really like this one because the Grand Cracker Crust has brown sugar in it. I'm a huge fan of brown sugar. I am going to eat this one. Not both of them for now. I just ate dinner not too long ago. So. My favorite dessert would probably have. I love cheesecake. Mmm. This is my first cheesecake of the summer. Mmm. <laughs> I love their strawberry syrup too. I love real strawberries, but not on my cheesecake. I like the creaminess of cheesecake. I like syrup. And it's real strawberry syrup too because it has like seeds and stuff. Hmm. It's crust though. It's so buttery. Mmm. When I'm asked what my favorite cake is, I'm always like, cheesecake? Oh, you mean flower cakes. Um, carrot. With cream cheese frosting. I love cheese Danish. I love the Oreo cheesecake Dunkin' Donuts donut quote. It's got cheesecake filling, cookies and cream icing with Oreos on top. That, yeah. That thing. I had these cheesecake filled croissant from our bomb pain of that. 
Hmm. Which is weird because I'm not as big of a fan of savory cream cheese. I like the Philadelphia whipped on toast or bagels or whatever. English muffins, anything. But I don't like regular cream cheese. When it's sweet and um, all the difference in the world. I like cheesecake better than ice cream. I've gotten to work really, unless I go out for ice cream, I really don't like ice cream. Like daily ice cream. Yeah, if I go to Baskin Robbins or get Hoshi's ice cream, or I really do like McDonald's hot fudge Sunday. Go figure. But other than that, I prefer the Ben and Jerry's non dairy one. Which I will have to do for a video sometime. Mm. But my mom and I went out to dinner at Cracker Barrel today, and we both got Grandpa's Country Fried Breakfast, which comes with two eggs, hash brown casserole, choice of country fried steak or country fried chicken, grits, gravy, choice of biscuits or corn muffins. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. Mm. It was really good. I got country fried chicken and sunny side up eggs and biscuits. She got the same exact thing as me except over medium eggs and bake. I tried grits for the first time. They're surprisingly really good. Hey mama, can I tell them? Yeah. We went out to eat because Saturday, August 6th is the nine year anniversary of when my mom quit smoking. And that is a big deal, and I'm so proud of her, for her health, her looks, and just, you know, the, the, the money, you know, you got some extra money. <laughs> They're very expensive, so. Good job, I'm quitting smoking. Thank you. <laughs> so every year I take her out to eat. I love where the cheesecake is baked around the back edge. This is my little dessert fork from Cafe Beloche in Japan. We got in the habit of stealing the forks and the spoons. So I have like five of these and two spoons. I'd have totally bought them if they'd have been for sale, but they won't. Oops. And don't get me wrong, I normally don't take or steal anything, but a couple times in my life at a West Honor hotel, 
Let me to take in a couple things. Nothing of value. For the meat strawberry cheesecake slices, I give them a 9 out of 10. The pros are that the cheesecake is very creamy and perfect little tang, perfect amount of sweetness, very, very delicious, not cloying at all. The strawberry syrup goes great with the creaminess of the cheesecake. Nice sweet flavor, but also a tartness from the berries. The graham cracker crust is really buttery without being heavy. Grammy, brown sugary. The only con is that I wish you could get a bigger slice. Or more slices in a thing. 9 out of 10 for the Sheets Strawberry Cheesecake. Last item, this cookie is a trash can cookie. It's a cookie with toffee, pretzels, cornflakes, chocolate chips, coconut, and marshmallows. I've never had this before either. It looks like it'd be better warm. I'm going to smell it and stick it in the microwave for a minute. It smells amazing. I'm going to microwave that. Another Aeropostle shirt. I love Aeropostle clothes. I might have done it a little too much. I'm notorious for doing that. I don't like a cold cookie that has like toffee and stuff. Whoa! It's amazing. That is really good. Mmm. It's got pretzels in it. And chocolate chips. Oh, now I see. There's a little emotional. Mm -hmm. It's got toffee running out. And it's just a really good type of. Mm. The Motionella part is probably my least favorite, but they don't overdo it. So it's really good still. Hmm. The pretzels though in it are really good. Hmm. 
It's kind of like a monster cookie, but I think people with peanut allergies can eat this one. Whereas monster cookies are made with peanut butter and peanuts and... But it does contain tree nuts. This is really rich, so I do not think I'm going to be able to finish it right now. I really did do all this stuff. I'm waiting for the Beats Trash Can cookie. I give it an 8 out of 10. The pros are that it's, it's different. It's got a lot of different unique stuff in it, and the toffee just really... I love toffee, so that's a real bonus for me. I like toffee better than peanut butter, actually. But it's no monster cookie. Now, if you would add toffee to a monster cookie, I'd be totally about that. 8 out of 10 for the Sheets Trash Can Cookie. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel for monthly cooking shows, weekly eating shows, foodie vlogs, and random fun. Like this video or dislike it, comment down below what your favorite kind of chocolate is and what your favorite gas station dessert is. You know mine, now I want to know yours. Also, let me know if you've ever tried your deli and if you like it, if you like cheesecake or not. Some people love cheesecake, like me. Some people hate cheesecake. can't trust those people. I'm sorry. They're not trustworthy. You don't like cheesecake. No. Just kidding. I love you guys. Don't forget to check out my Christmas in July BLT pasta salad cooking show and mukbang. Thank you so much for 400 subscribers. I will be doing two challenge videos within the next week. Like I said, just remember, don't let anybody get you down. Be yourself. Be the best that you can be. Work with integrity and be kind to everyone. But don't take nothing off of anyone. Until next time, stay kidney and party on. Food party. I have this ring. It's a new ring. It has my name on it. My mom got it made for me at our summer festival. It's Foodie Friday. Yo, say kittens, I'm Matt, and welcome to my 42nd mukbang eating show. I haven't done a dessert video in a while, so I picked up some sweet and treats. So this is going to be a dessert haul of sorts. To begin, I have my current favorite Ghirardelli Square, dark chocolate and sea salt caramel. Ooh, my all-time favorite munchy chocolate in the world, Ghirardelli Milk Chocolate Sea Salt Cashews. A trash can cookie from Sheets. And I also have strawberry cheesecake from Sheets, but that is in the freezer. It got a little warm on the ride home, so I will get that out later. Thank you so much for getting me to 400 subscribers. I will be doing two challenge videos in the upcoming week. The 300 subscriber saltine challenge and 400 subscriber chubby bunny challenge. I am going to attempt it. Even though I have the epically smallest mouth in the world ever, I am still going to try it. I'm not looking forward to that. <laughs> I don't care for marshmallow much anyway. Hmm. What was I thinking? <laughs> oh well, do it with views. So thank you everyone that subscribed to my channel for monthly cooking shows, weekly eating shows, foodie vlogs, and random fun. Beginning with the Ghirardelli squares. They come individually wrapped. I prefer the squares over the bars to do the simple fact that they're individually wrapped. You can eat one at a time, you can watch what you're eating, you can be like me and eat the whole bag, but they won't melt in the process, you know? I used to be a huge fan of the regular Ghirardelli caramel squares, but ever since trying this one, hmm, hmm. Oh my goodness. 
it's just got like a depth of richness. It's the same caramel, but is there any way I could eat anything and not look like an uncivilized feral cat? I don't think so. The kale is really sweet, but then by being dark chocolate, it's a little bit bitter, and I like that. I appreciate a fine, bitter dark chocolate. And the sea salt just makes it... Mmm. Mmm. I may or may not have said this before, but 